Finally, it's happening. Absol's control system makes it to the channel, makes it first, of course, to the Patreon. Thank you so much for your support on there. This was so neck and neck, wasn't it? With Mick Jenkins, the waters, I had to do both. There was no two ways about it. This has been long overdue, and I won't lie, it's probably been pushed back over the weeks because it's so long. I know it's going to be good. I'm a fan of everything I've heard from Absol, but a one hour, 11 minute album is always a little bit intimidating, especially when I know it's going to be bar heavy. So I'll try my best. It's boiling hot in here. I separate my shoulder, but we continue. We fight. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube and thinking, what is he talking about? You probably know by now. Down there in the description is a link to my Patreon every single month for exclusive album reactions decided by the patrons. Plus every album reaction that comes to this channel is uncut on there. So you can watch this in uncut form. That's going to be a long old video. But that will be there on the Patreon $5 tier. That's the entire support structure for this channel because obviously all of the videos, well, 95% of the videos get demonetized, get the money taken by the record label. So that's just how it works. And thank you so much for the support. Guys, follow me on Instagram, please. Can we get 4,000 likes on this video and subscribe to the channel? Let's do this, man. I'm going to miss bars because I don't want to stop it every two seconds. I will, I will do my best. And drink water. One and only, you niggas know me. Your bitches want me. Determination. I mean, the beat on this is reminding me of like the Jay Z Linkin Park crossover, kind of epic sounding. Relating minds, reciprocating time, spent on my amazing ride. Said I was the underdog. Started planning, I stopped playing and I made it happen. We mapped it out, and now the map is out. Like that, I stopped praying and I started planning. I stopped playing and I made it happen. Simple, no double entendre there, really, but a nice statement of intent to start. What is it? It's going to be an epic record, certainly in terms of runtime. In the wind, literate as Oscar Wilde, bringing the terror and terror that cats are down. The split will get lit up till we look like we come from China. I don't think I've ever heard an Oscar Wilde reference in hip hop before. Okay, we're on different levels now. Missing a Laurie Joe. It's been a minute since I saw her smile. She's the reason why I go as hard as I do now. Fuck a phone cause I'm focused, it's folk by focus. I'm prone to leave a vocal booth total for the right total. The bad boy, you boys pussy. Okay, so he said missing a Laurie Joe. I didn't know who that was. Singer Laurie Joe passed in early 2012 after leaping from a radio tower. She was his girlfriend for over seven years. And now one of his main motivations. My goodness. It's Toto, or Dorothy's dog Toto. I'm telling niggas, I'ma need a few wings like Frodo. I can't say YOLO. Cause I've been here before, so deaf that I've been reborn solo. I'm gonna need a few wings like Frodo. I can't even say that. I can't say YOLO because I've been here before. So deaf that I've been reborn. Yeah, I'm high off life, but I'm rolling blunts. Uh, and they couldn't wait for so to reappear. Click boom, TNT, TDE, we in here. Woo! Get our occupation, you in violation. Pro folk, annihilation. Flow like the now river, yours now never. Oh my God, did he just rhyme? Hating occupation, violation, annihilation with Nile River and now or never. He kind of did. That's crazy. I couldn't do that. I mean, I couldn't do any of this shit, obviously. Release date, but now it's never. Yeah. Welcome to the control system. I'm stimulating the hoes and educating my niggas. I wiggle through potholes. My destination is vivid. To the end of the road, I'm driven. Y'all tripping. So. I love the fact he, he demands concentration with his songs, but it still sounds good. There's, there, there's such power to that. You still have to sound good, I think, to really get your point across. Doing bad shit, sick, twist two splits out my dime bag shit. Piss, trying to get a good response out this bad bitch. And he want me like, why left John gone to November? Pop my collar like, I'm John Juan. Witness your future diminish, no present from St. Nicholas in particular. You're just a thing of the. I'm, I, I will stop it again, but witness your future diminish, no present from St. Nicholas for the Christmas Santa. <laughs> Rocket was my role model, Lil Rocket, my number one omigo. With 15 in the back alley, hot bitches and skip school, broke rules, got pussy, beat up rookies on Pro Tools. You probably call his ass. So imagine if Einstein got high and sipped juice, broke rules, got pussy, beat up rookies on Pro Tools. Man, brilliant. I'm loving this so far. Patron with the lemon pineapple when the Sherlock vanity. More homes than Sherlock family. Roll through, smoke up, fuck with a broader tool. More homes than Sherlock. 
Broader than you. She'll never leave me alone. Should I swear I just met Shorty like 40 minutes ago and it's a go. Man, I hope she don't think I think she a hoe. What, what, what? The bitch ass. Motherfuck the government. Motherfuck the system. Motherfuck you. I'm MF Doom vibes, kind of like G Funk era vibes on this one. Like, I think, like, there's almost no point going into his level as an MC, his level as a rapper, because it's elite tier. Clearly, I knew that already. Bars for days, folded words for days, double entendres, very interesting subject matter, bizarre. I know this is going to take me listens and listens and listens and listens and listens, but the, the bars that hit me will be the bars that hit me. Honey, we mixing dark and light like the 18 honey, and we getting bunny, <laughs> what it do? Dear belly of the beast, I might feast on my dear. We night ride like Paul Revere, spilling my ties all on a brassiere just so smart and clever and he's just happy to just flex with his intelligence but also just flex in like you know his coolness we night ride like paul revere that's right motherfuck the government motherfuck the system motherfuck you i'm just living how i'm living we forced to register for oh. suffer not being able to work and earn a living there's a pretty intense speech there it seemed to be different words on the on the genius so i kind of lost my way with, with it but yeah very very intense i love that the concept of this album obviously control system all of the various control systems whether it's governmental whether it's psychological babylon babylon at my window all i see is babylon on the news all i see is babylon and shit ways is sumerian ain't nothing wrong with a righteous man I, I just want to be free. I ain't trying to be nobody chattel. Brilliant. Nobody chattel, nobody chattel. Yeah. I mean, this is a song to break down and sit down with and study where he's talking about obviously referencing I don't want to be anybody's chattel like in the speech at the at the end of the previous track. Keep through the back door, the typical black boy in a good old USA before I push rhymes like, wait, I used to want to play for the NBA. And then fucking doing talk about pineal gland, ancient ways of Sumerians. Ain't nothing wrong with the righteous man. It's like, it's a lot to break down in this track. It's willing to bear the pain. We put the White House lights out today. Okay, KK. We mobbing like we the black KKK. Don't forget my AKA Mayday. P Ooh. on your PhD or your AA. Come on. I nigga bang that block. Hmm. I don't give a fuck, nigga bang that glove. The concept, you've got progress, you've got Congress. We protest in hopes they confess, just proceed on your conquest. I see an image of Hitler in the picture when the Twin Towers drop. Now, in 1933, Hitler took an advantage of a Dutch arsonist burning down a Reichstag to blame the Communist Party in order to get rid of them and cement his authority in Germany. Okay, so he's likening what happened with the Twin Towers, potentially uh, referencing it being an inside job, um, similar to what Hitler did there. Um, okay, I mean, that's a powerful statement, definitely. This ain't your standard Eminem track, is it, when you're talking about breaking down bars? All love to Eminem, but this is different. Bro, every time you hear Danny Brown's voice, and I forgot he was a feature, and then I just remember just before it came in, so it didn't quite catch me by surprise. Honestly, every time you hear Danny Brown as a feature on a song, it's like your best mate coming round you, and you're like, hey, when he comes through the door, it's always a treat. It's always a pleasure to hear it. Every time I watch a sci fi movie, I see some aliens and I be thinking about fucking them sometimes. Like a Broadway play, AK Melee, make it out, bay, okay? You'll get stomped like a Broadway play. Fuck stomp. I've always hated stomp. That's the press, got a fell out of the chest and a world strip of happiness. I ain't got no gavel. I mean, that was a brilliant track. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not understate that. That was a brilliant track. The kind of stripped back beat with the, the chanting sample in there just to highlight the lyricism, to highlight the statements being made, the complexity of it. Yet, yeah, once again, a song, the bang, you can just put on and nod your head to. And I do think that is the best way to make statements in music, to make sure the music part works. It doesn't have to be like some ultra-produced pop monolith track that comes out of like, OVO or something like that. It can just be something like that uh, that we just heard there. But yeah, depth to that track. And then this track's called Pineal Gland. I mean, I'm feeling switched on this morning, but still, there's a long way to go. I'd imagine I'm going to be flat out by the end of this. It was all a dream. I swear it never happened. I wrote like Edgar Allen. I was po like Edgar Allen. Oh. Let me hit her, just retire. <laughs> my life is fire. I might blow your block up. It's like we on NCT. I made my dreams reality, so to speak. 
or so they say. Lyricism brilliant. I love the references to DMT, obviously, with the pineal gland title. I was expecting that. Have you ever been conscious inside a coma, talking about like awake and still, you know, asleep at some points about what's going on in the world, what's going inside your mind depth again? But also, I just wanted to give a little moment to talk about the beat on this track. That menacing piano just coming all the way through, driving everything, not distracting, not overly loud like the rest of the beats on this album. Very, 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 very good. Like, this music isn't like straight away knocking me over, making me want to move. I can't move that much anyway, because honestly, I'm not. I mean, you, you can see it on the video, but I had to make it today. It honestly feels like someone's just stabbed a knife into there and separated my shoulder. It was better yesterday, and then I slept funny and it's got worse today. I'll be all right, but like, the, the, the work continues. We have to move. We have to move. So I can't go that nuts anyway, but this isn't the music to make me go nuts. It's just the music to make me nod my head and think. So enlightening, probably why these niggas can't fuck with me. I'm looking like who the fuck invited them. Fuck me? They failed in testing like what's inside of them. So, so low, so low. Ooh. Say it like you. They failed in testing like what's inside of them. Like they failed because what's inside of them, but in testing inside of them. I gotcha. I gotcha, Solo. Shit it in the crater. Last time I sat on Saturn. Got a letter from Andromeda. They trying to shrine my bladder. Ooh. Enjoy your small free eyes. But you could never see eyes. Three eyes. Come on. Three eyes. Three eyes. You got three eyes. This record's getting inside my brain in a weird way, right? <laughs> because, like I said, listen, the songs, they sound great and you can nod your head to them. The beats are really, really good. They're understated. But it's more just the bars. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about bars, right? And people are like, ah, oh, you didn't catch all these Eminem bars. It's like, no, I heard the Eminem bars. But what is he saying? They're masturbatory bars. What I'm saying is they're just to please himself. And hey, that's fine. Just a bit of wordplay for wordplay's sake. It's fine, but I'm not going to lose my shit over somebody as capable as him just doing like some fluoride swish bar on that, that Kid Cudi track. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's all fun. But when Absolo brings out a few bars and they're designed not only to make you think and to be clever and slick, but to do something with the way your brain works, that's what I'm talking about. That's the levels that I would go nuts for. Not that I'm going nuts, but you know what I mean? That's what's going to make me really, really open my mind. Or a really, really clever, funny bit of wordplay, of course. But do you know what I mean? I think I'm just sorry from all those Eminem fans coming at me. I still love Eminem. It's not his fault. He makes great music. He's very good. He's one of the best. Ooh. Okay. We're getting that sliding snare on this one. He with the homies. Yeah. He with the homies. No squares in the circle. Nobody flow me. He hesitated. And she said, why you push me? If you don't get this pussy, then you a pussy. It's going to let this one ride out. It's going to see where the concept's going, all right? She ain't having the best luck. Everybody to chop it up. Only want to cut. One of her girlfriends got one. She's been jealous of the relationship since day one. Smart song. He's just a much more thoughtful and intelligent guy than a lot of rappers. Not a lot of people on his label, don't get me wrong. I mean, the levels of intelligence there. But the way he thinks about the world is very appealing to me. I'm not a DMT guy, I've never been down that route. Uh, I'm not massively a uh, like conspiracy guy or anything like that, but I like somebody who's capable and interested in looking at things from multiple angles. This is obviously like a, a kind of straight two sides of a story, two sides of a coin type of thing, but it's cleverly done. I've not heard it done exactly like this before, for starters. And it's a nice, like, this is a much simpler song in terms of the bars, in terms of the lyrics, than the previous track and the track before that. And I think that makes sense from a sequencing point of view, because we're still fucking early on in this record. My auntie taught me always treat my lady right. My uncle told me only love him for the night. You can see the immediate <laughs> disconnection, but... I'm saying we heard of Amber Cole, but we don't know that little nigga that was getting gone. Okay. I hadn't heard of Amber Cole, but I just clicked on it. A young girl who was, went viral for, for giving a, a, you know, a school, it's weird to say it on camera. Like another kid at school, a blowjob. Um, she went viral, nobody knows who he is. And that's the point he's trying to make. Double standards, get it, get it, get a good track. I think it's cold up, yeah. Where's that sample in the beat? That's weird, I recognise it, but I'm not sure where from. Bizarre. I think 
probably deliberately in terms of how the beat was structured that that just sent me off into my own little world and I was thinking about a bunch of other stuff which isn't great for <laughs> reaction but at the same time that is the reaction because it just had me drifting off into some sort of other place um it's quite pleasant, but I must admit, I, I missed any clever bars in that one, but I said that will happen. Beat is crazy, quite unsettling. I for me is just waiting, bro. The song's too weird for a first listen. It may be one of those ones that grows over time as you get more used to the beat and the way that they're finding the pockets on the beat. But overall, yeah, it's just a little bit <laughs> upsetting for me. But um, we move. The possibilities anytime Ooh. you in my vicinity, mm. and I beat it up, yeah, I beat it up, yeah, I beat it up, just like this, my enemy. Oh. I love the like parliament energy in the beat here. Very, very, very cool track. She be loving the crew and I be loving the two. She got a thing for them rap niggas, I suppose. She feeling my energy. Motives trying to get behind it like a locomotive. She trained, she on the right track. She got the boom. Locomotive, she trained. J Rock's always awesome. He's always awesome. Yeah. Good track, quite funny. Nice switch up. All right, this track's called Illuminate and it's got Kendrick on it. So I'm switching on my concentration, bro. And this has been a lot. Like I say, it's unbelievably hot in here, as it so often is. Back when I first grabbed that pen, I told myself I was going to win. And I ain't no win. I'm a okay. fucking genius. Look at my fucking penis. Living this life. You can't tell me nothing. Still, I really got no money. Fucking right. I'm all about that real. About that real. This ain't no motion picture. I tell you how that feel. How that feel. Even when the eyes are against you. This is Kame. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm the man now. Oh. TDE. Put the money in my hand. Ain't shit free. I used to want to rap like Jay Z. Now I feel like I'm run laps around Jay Z. Now I ain't seen nothing. It's nasty. I used to want to rap like Jay Z. Now I feel like I could run laps around Jay Z. Naz ain't seen nothing this nasty. Big and Puck got it come when I pass too. Bloody hell, that's a statement. Oh, dope. So high, but I'm so low. Oh. Two cups and I sip slow. Come on. Taking my time. We don't just shine. They want to share my life. Like this hook as well. It's almost like something from a rock song. Amazing verses. Like, I love what I heard. It's going to take multiple listens to catch everything there. Love the statement. Love the intensity. Love the intent. This to be Tupac, but truth, I give two shits by. Expectations of critics hating shit. I just put moms on vacation, bitch. You never know my new location. I am the shit like what the prune does. Black on black tent like Kim Takuta. Black is back, bitch. Kim Takuta. Black on black crime. Precursor to to pimp butterfly there. Killer track, absolute killer track. Brilliant from both guys. Like I said, intensity and intent, fantastic. Right, we move, we move. Still some big tracks to come, some big features. Okay. Again, big parliament vibes, like crazy space funk type of vibes on this one. Uh, a vibey one, but a sort of needed break from the lyricism of all the other tracks, I think, there. And obviously, uh, uh, Laurie Joe on that one. Rest in peace to her. Obviously, a story about what happened to her, um, mentioned earlier on in the video. Okay, we're into the back. Six or six tracks. This this album is probably too long, but that's because I am sitting here listening to it in a 4,000 degree heat. My stick, in the presence Ooh. of the most high, most high. We run this shit, do that shit, we run this shit, you know that it's we run this shit, do that shit. Uh, the way that that's mixed is really cool because it, it basically it's almost like 3D audio 
um, through both sides of the headphones, almost like out sort of in and around your brain. That's very cool. Yes, I'm getting cash. You feel me's full of hash. City on my back, nigga. Fuck the round. Beat is crazy. Like, you've got that, I mean, is that a hi hat or a snare? Almost sounding like a machine gun? Fucking crazy beat. It's a crazy album. At the most precipitation. Solo. Top dog. Administration. Watch it pop across the population. The schemes in this one are crazy. Like I said, I mean, I knew by the time I got to the end of this record, I was going to be a bit mind blown by all of it. Top notch crock pot hot, where your apron stop watch and grab a stop watch, apply patience, and watch us pop across the population. High power, pissing on a declaration of independence, and you can bet my John Hancock the biggest. <laughs> Got seven hundred dollars from my last show, and I would spend it all on you. Some weird one. Empathy. We're getting into some more psychedelic cuts as the album goes through. Supposed to be bad, make me feel so good. Mm. Everything they told me not to is exactly what I would. I wish a nigga would try to take my shit. Look into the weekend on the weekend. That ain't too provocative, is it? Shout out Abel. I'm a virgin. Party. Why sell iPhone wireless cell? I'm high as hell. By the end of the night, I might need bell. If not, I shouldn't bell nothing. But it's gotta be. I love this. A stream of consciousness where he's not quite nailed down exactly what he's thinking, but just putting it out there and living in that dichotomy between having luxurious things but not wanting to put out music or art without substance and yet living a life that sometimes needs to just switch off and you know get high get fucked up i liked the fact that unlike some of the tracks on this this doesn't feel like complete thoughts my only fear is fear itself i ain't afraid to die more afraid of myself Niggas looking at can express it. Give me some credit. Ooh, Don't be surprised ooh. before I rise. I'm beheaded. Can thrive to be a promising civilization. We may die individually, but as a nation, we'll rise, nigga. It's our time until it's who else is rapping like this? Who else is talking like this in their song? And the free is little to offer me. And got mm. off to think about often me. I wake up in the morning and I ask myself. It's life worth living, should I blast myself? Super. If it takes me to be a martyr to push the envelope farther, nigga, show me to the slaughter. Oh. I gladly if it takes me to be a martyr to push the envelope farther, show me to the slaughter. Down your peace. I wish you all a beautiful death. Peace. Ooh. Phenomenal track. Severe pink eye, my eyes swollen shut for like two or three months. It's still bright as fuck. Shit. Uh, and I even lost my lip skin, grew back darker than. I had no idea about any of this. Or the world to me, not saying that because I'm your dude. I'm glad I got to watch the woman that you blossom to. Ironic, we always had the same classes. I shit back. I love the fact that he can jump between the most complex bars where you're digging through it and then you're not even hearing the next five because you're still stuck on one that you're trying to unpack. And he can just go straight to storytelling, uh, lyricism like here with not much double entendre just so you can listen and, and, and be told exactly what's going on. That takes a real talent, I think, to be able to do both. Listen. He's on TDE for a reason, right? You guys have been yelling at me to do this forever for a reason, right? No pun intended reason. Believe for me, I'm used to being cut short. I'm such a nice guy. Why, Lord? Why, Lori? Why you had to take her from me? Guess he needed your angel face for all of heaven to see. I guess the Mayans wasn't lying. 2012, my world ended. Jesus. You used to say that I could see the future. You was wrong cause you was in it And I was just with you the day before You said you loved me, I said I loved you more And as much as I want a coward, bit the mic could do And fall off a fucking tower trying to find you I gotta stay cause I remember that day, I agree But if you really wanna look at it that way then Hey man, God don't like me Oh jeez I refuse to just cross and get them locks off your soul what an amazing, amazing track. Heartbreaking, heart-wrenching. 
beautiful track and the musicianship of it all that's the type of track you just want to extend a thank you just for being so open and honest with us to Absol. Wow. I mean, I felt like we got a real, just a real look inside the man's heart there. Amazing. So I know this is a bonus track coming up, but I don't think I've ever heard it. Black Lib Bastard uh, featuring Black Hippie, so I'm expecting big things. Six minute posse cut. I may have heard it on the stream, I'm not sure. Oh, your image of me is what I hope to be. Ooh. Come on. Black Lib Bastard, pass me your password so I can hack inside your brain. See, I too have gone insane. Before I fall, I'm sure to curse you all in Jesus' name. Lead shower and the pebble hour, bitch, stand the ring. Just on the regular Ooh. zone before I climb this pedestal and make you catch my fucking stool. K dot. What are you doing to me? It's the last track. We've been here for um, this is a nearly two-hour recording. You're gonna break me. Homie chose to go toe to toe. I had to break his leg like a cliche to rock a show. Is that over your head? <laughs> Nigga stretching the truth like they choose to do yoga instead. Homie chose to go toe to toe. I had to break his leg like a cliche to rock a show. You say break a leg. Is that over your head? Ah, yeah, it was. That's why I missed the next bars. Yo, way to make him pay double. I'm anxious when the bacon on the table. I need a muscle. you basic like cable to a satellite. All we do is do it. 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 Black lips, smoke time. Fuck this rap shit. I'm mad. did this song is like curing my neck look i can move i can move you see the difference between the end of this video and the beginning how you go down ah. with the devil with two left feet oh. I'm Dre Rock, you little beneath me. How you gonna dance with a devil with two left feet? Fuck it out. Some water, call it Poseidon. Wig no. out, then hit your ass with a trite. Uh, Money on the table, my uh, nigga, you know uh, I'm all in. Uh, if rap was a drink, you wine, nigga, I'm all chin. Honey. J Rock's washing everybody on this, and it was already amazing. He's killing it. Watch City Mayhem, <laughs> choppers that spray in from AM to PM. Toe tag and whack rappers, all GP. Can't see me, your vision ain't 3D. You smoking on that seaweed, you rolling up that kiwi. When I'm in interviews, don't ask me about those clones. No five Don't tell me who. I'm independent shit. Bro, that was absolutely, 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 absolutely fucking phenomenal. Wow. I mean, talk about bringing it with those last three tracks. I thought we were winding down. We brought it to the highest level. I mean, we're talking 10 out of 10s, those last few. Amazing album, amazing experience. Long? I was going to say too long, but when you bring that energy at the end, be as long as you want. Be as long as you want. J-Rock absolutely ate that for breakfast, dinner, brunch, supper, midnight snack. Ate it up. Everyone was good, but he just ate it up. The Silent Assassin. Of the four-headed dragon. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's cured my shoulder. Say, I mean, amazing, right? Amazing, and there's going to be more that I get through it from it. I should say on future listens. Obviously, I knew that some of the bars that I heard, some of the bars that I missed. Good. I want to have albums that I can go back through and catch more bars over and over and over again. That's the beauty of it. I mean, what a what a pleasure. I know you guys have been asking me to do this for a long time, and. Now we're here and we've done it. So like, I really feel like I'm just adding bricks and bricks to my house of hip hop knowledge here. And we're getting there. We're getting it. There's always going to be albums to do. There's always going to be Patreon suggestions because they're never going to have heard any everything. But like every one that I add, every brick that I add to this house, I feel like I've got more to bring to future reactions, more to bring to future albums that are coming out. Still some big gaps, still some foundations that need to be built, don't get me wrong, coming from the old school, from the mid-range, like the, this sort of era, and even the current stuff, but 
Like, we're getting there. We're getting there. And I'm feeling more complete as a music reactor thanks to you guys. And it is thanks to you guys. My God, I'm absolutely fired up from that track. Can you tell? Guys, if you wanted to see this in uncut form, I'd actually recommend it. Um, that is there in the Patreon link if you're seeing this on YouTube. Thank you very much to all the patrons as well. Remember, you get four extra album reactions every single month, plus new stuff comes to Patreon to make sure you're locked in for that stuff for the streams and everything like that. A couple of new tiers, a request here coming soon. You heard that here first. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Come follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you're following the Twitch as well, John Denton Twitch for the weekly reaction streams. And subscribe to this channel if you're new. I need to stop talking, guys. Jesus, Jesus. Catch you on the next one. Peace.